All right, picking up where I left off. Um, let me bring up this, uh, hopefully. There it is, the Trello board. So I have since been to lunch and gotten to do a little thinking. <clears throat> Excuse me. And uh, I don't think we need to do this, so I'm going to drag it off into the either. It's just on my phone. Okay, so I'm archiving that. Uh, the idea here being, I don't know that um, that has to be an end-to-end -end test. It certainly can, but if we, um, with the location search, I think if we just set this up basically to um, return, you know, the wheeling result sets that I came up with, uh, this guy, which actually probably is what it's doing, right? Let's see. Yeah. Okay. So if we just have it, um, if we set up the profile and I'm not going to call this single profile, uh, let's see. Wheeling location result. If we do that, now we're not doing end to end, but we're going to get the same effect. So now we're back on task with I've got this one failing test, which is the acceptance test, and we got to get that to pass. So let me get out of here. Um, interesting okay let me get out of here close some of these windows and kind of get back into what i was doing which is um figuring out how to make this uh, method behave properly so far if you'll recall from the last couple of episodes i used tdd to sort of drive out um getting this call into place and I'm not like super thrilled with those tests because it's a little bit of an implementation style test where I'm checking to see if this collaborator has been invoked, but it is driving towards the right behavior. So I also think I have this sneaking suspicion here, given what I've seen of this guy, um, this JSON utility, that we probably won't wind up needing this parser class, but I'll come back to that later. So last thing we did was um, drive it into a state where we're going to execute this verbatim search, which is basically that we're passing in um, the resultant URL that comes back. Uh, recall this. Um, so here's items, and this is the search result for me. And we're taking this result, and we're using it to actually just uh, execute uh, another get against the repo. And then the thing that comes back is going to be um, uh, what we're actually interested in. So what I'm going to do, just for reference here, uh, where did I put this thing? Was it an end-to-end? -end? I'll do another one. Um, new item. Under vacant general text file. Sure. And I will call this profile json.txt. So what I'm going to do is go here. Oops. And I want to actually copy that. Um, where is it? I'm going to copy the URL for me. And that's going to give us the following text which I just want to have around for reference. Uh, does that look right? Yeah. So now this is uh, what we can expect to get back. And what I'm thinking is, um, I'm going to take this, go back over to Sublime, and do our little uh, find and replace trick. I guess it probably doesn't matter which order I do these, but um, we'll replace all of these. Now, what I actually want to do is um, in this test, probably going to need to have a, um, we're going to want to rename this uh, wheeling location result. Wow, that's, uh, that's tough. Okay. 
And this guy is going to become... Now, what would be a good next test to write? That depends kind of what I want the code here to do. Um, and what I want the code to do is return my email address, which is in here or no? Email? There it is. Okay, so... So it should return a profile with Eric with email. Ad uh, let's just say with my email address. And here's the way I'm going to make that happen. I think what I'm just going to do. This may get me into trouble later, but it's easy enough for me to reason about it at the moment. So I'm just going to cruise with it. Gonna, ugh execute verbatim search why does that keep happening visual studio is being a little uh challenging so we're going to say that whenever this is called it returns the eric result and so now i've got those set up and all I want to do is say get profiles for location. I don't think it matters, but I might want it to be this later. And I'm going to say that um, we're finally going to assert on some results. And I want to say first. Okay, get profiles for location, assert, uh, prof, um, so that's the expected email address and profile.email address. Now that's going to fail because it's going to be null. And so basically now what needs to happen is, um, I need to actually turn the result of this thing into a profile. Uh, so I think what I'm going to do to try to make this pass is see if I can dig up a little more information on... Uh, where am I here? Um, JSON parse to dot net object. So I think there's something in here about, um, what is this, json.net. I think that's like literally the same thing I just Googled. <laughs> oh, I got a new wrap up. Oh, don't get distracted. Uh, so really, I just kind of, this is my way of uh, doing this sort of thing. I just kind of bounce around until I see an example that looks close to what I want to do. But you know what? Instead of getting cute, because I don't know if my property names, I don't know how this thing is actually going to work. So execute verbatim search is going to give me a string. And what I'm going to say is um, var profile json. I'm going to do another parse. I'm going to call this um, profile. There's, uh, profile raw result. Now I've got the profile JSON. What's the problem now? Ah, doesn't like some of these parsings. So let's figure out why before I get too far down the rabbit hole. 
two of these are my originally failing tests, I would suspect. So what's the third? Ah. I think what I'm going to need to do... Oh, goodness. So I think what's happening is I need the corresponding setup. This is starting, starting to strike me kind of slightly as a smell. Um, basically that I'm uh, doing all the same thing in two different uh, test situations. Now, I don't know immediately how to fix that, but uh, maybe I'll add a note. So something I don't like is that I'm adding, uh, as long as I'm here, execute naming or naming involving execute for the GitHub Inquisitor. And then I also don't like um, the fact that I'm adding pretty much identical set up to a unit test and acceptance. Now, th this last one just strikes me as a smell. It might be that I get in there and decide that this is the right thing to do. I mean, like, it's not crazy that I would have two similar kinds of setup. I just don't like the fact that every time I add a bit of setup in one place, I need to add in another place. Um, that's usually not the sign of something awesome. Uh, but you tell or tolerate um, duplication a little bit more in a um, in test than you might in uh, in production code. You certainly wouldn't really tolerate any in production code. Um, ugh, for goodness sake. There we go. You wouldn't tolerate any in production code, but you tolerate a little in tests for the sake of um, deliberate visibility, I guess, for the sake of being clear in each test, because the test should be able to be executed independently. Um, so it's hard to... I'm not doing real well typing, thinking, and uh, explaining myself all at the same time, but, you know, hopefully I'll get better at it as time goes on. So I think... I should get back to two failing tests. Yep. All right. So that uh, that got rid of the problem of uh, breaking an old test. So I'm still failing, and I still need to get this thing passing. I'm just not failing any new tests now. Uh, so yeah, and I'm not <clears throat> blowing up on this line anymore, so that's good. Now I think what I want to do... Convert to profile. So I was just taking the string. Uh, let's see here. Okay. First name equals, uh, let's try this. So I don't remember what all I've done to get some of these tests to pass, so this is going to be a little experimental. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Now, I want to fix first and last name. I just don't want to do it right now because I'm just focused on email address. I want to get email address working end to end. So what I'm going to do, the profile result is going to be string and profile JSON. Um, and let's see, what was that again? If I go back here. So it's just email, yeah. I think anything blowing up on me there? No, that's good. Uh, I'm going to do this. Try to preserve as much control flow as possible. No. <laughs> yeah, there we go. 
Look at that. That is progress. Interestingly, nothing is hitting this last line. I wonder why. Let me back out for a while and see. Not compiling. Okay. It might strike you as odd to be worried about something like that. So I guess nothing was covering that before. Oh, you know what? I think um, when I deleted that test in the last episode, uh, now I have this code that isn't covered. So let me get back here. I am happy that the acceptance tests are working. Um, so this is all smiles and sunshine, but I do want to get this last line covered. Uh, unless, let's see what happens here. All right, that's even better. So now I'm back in a state where I'm probably not testing for a lot of happy path stuff. But on the plus side, I think that this whole parsing thing can go away. But before I start um, getting rid of that, I have to get rid of parser unit and acceptance tests. I feel pretty strongly that that's a need now, but I'm not going to do it just yet because I want to actually um, pull back the proper email address from GitHub. Uh, let me do this to make it a little more readable while I'm green. And there's going to have to be a whole lot of um, a whole lot of uh, you know non-happy path testing here, I think. But for the time being, so the problem is I haven't actually implemented anything. When I do end to end, this won't work. But um, everything should work internally, I believe. So let's do end to end. And now here I'm going to say Chicago search first name, just like last time. And scenario Chicago search email address. So I should have a user at the email address eric at deadtech.com. And this is a little, maybe not awesome, but uh, let me go into the search steps here and I'm just going to copy this. Um, it's not my favorite, but I just don't want to mess too much with all the, the binding. And let's see, profiles equals scenario current dot get assert is true okay so I don't have this handy shortcut here yet so what happened oh wait a minute no that's right I'll try this end to end uh, run, run scenarios. So the first one should pass. And then the hope is also that the second one will pass. And neither one passed. <laughs> uh, okay, let's see. What went wrong here? Problem occurred searching GitHub. All right, I'm not a, uh, I'm not super psyched about this, but let's let's close everything else. Oh, for goodness' sake, it's really hard. For... I'm gonna try not to whine. <laughs> It's just always hard to see which thing is open for me. Maybe you don't struggle with this. I don't know. Like, I have a lot of trouble 
seeing which file is actually open. Uh, okay, so this is what I want. So a new profile searcher with a new inquisitor. Oh, um, this is a problem. The only thing I have covering this is this acceptance test. So there's still a little work to be done. Get async and we're going to say query string. Get the result, return result dot content dot read as string async result. I do not understand the problem. <laughs> Cannot convert stream to string. Am I crazy? What? Okay. So what changed? Oh, Rita's, ah, <laughs> okay. Details, let's see what happens now. I'm, I'm not like um, entirely convinced, like I'm, I'm maybe, you know, what? Oh, uh, I'm maybe like 33% sure this will work. <laughs> there we go. Now just to, <clears throat> make sure that this is true. Let's try this again, and we should expect one failure. All right, now remember, I'm going to wrap up here. That's what we expect, so um, it's not an obtuse failure. Uh, so actually, end-to-end, -end, this is working. All the tests are working. I I'm going to call it here and commit the code, but there's a lot of stuff here still to be done. Um, so when I come back, I've got all of these things listed, and then let's see what else. Um, we got to get non-obtuse reading of first and last name. Lots of non-happy path testing around all of our parsing. Uh, this guy can probably go away because we want to just get rid of the. Figure out how to get first and last name back from Ghetto. So we did that. All right. I'm getting too far afield and not congratulating myself enough. Um, clean up code rush warnings. Uh, the fact that. Yes. So all of this is true. This is up to date. So I think the next thing I want to do is that. I don't want to keep going with. Um, uh, more burden in terms of code in the code base than I need. So clean up the code I don't need and then kind of get back on track here with getting first and last name to be not stupid. Um, also uh, have this work for multiple profiles. At the moment it just seems to be getting the first one so um, that's not awesome. Probably that's a good order. All right, so back here to studio, I'm going to commit. Um, and this was, I believe, episodes 12 through 14. Getting a tiny slice end to end. I'm going to commit that. Sure, we'll push it on up to master. Uh, yes. Cool. And that's it. I will see you next time.